Welcome to Statistics Made Simple and I am Savita Valsan. In this video, I will explain moments of a distribution which will be used in the next topic that is skewness and kurtosis. Moments are used to describe the various characteristics of a frequency distribution such as average, dispersion, skewness and kurtosis. There are two types of moments, raw moments and central moments. I'll first explain raw moments. Moments about any arbitrary value A are called as raw moments and are denoted by mu r dash. It is given by mu r dash is equal to summation x minus a whole to the power r divided by n where r takes the values 1, 2, 3, so on. The second type of moments are central moments. Moments about the arithmetic mean are called as central moments and are denoted by mu r. It has the formula mu r is equal to summation x minus x bar whole to the power r divided by n where r takes the values 1, 2, 3, so on. Central moments are important and let us learn how to calculate the first central moment. The first moment about the mean is 0. So what you have to do is in the above formula put r equal to 1. So you will get mu1 is equal to summation x minus x bar whole to the power 1 divided by n which is equal to summation x minus x bar divided by n. So you know that summation x minus x bar is equal to 0. We have learned this property under the arithmetic mean that is the sum of the deviations of the values from the arithmetic mean is 0. So 0 divided by n is 0 or in other words mu1 is equal to 0. That means the first moment about the mean is 0. The first moment about 0 is the mean. What do we understand by this? When we put r equal to 1 and x bar equal to 0, in the general central moment formula, we get mu1 is equal to summation x minus 0 whole to the power 1, which is equal to summation x minus 0 divided by n, which is equal to summation x by n. And we know that summation x by n is nothing but the formula of the arithmetic mean for raw data or we get mu1 is equal to x bar. The third point is the second moment about the mean is the variance. So now when r is equal to 2 you get mu2 is equal to summation x minus x bar whole square divided by n. We know that this is a formula of the variance for raw data. Therefore, mu2 is equal to sigma square. Similarly, let us now obtain the third moment about the mean. This gives us a measure of skewness which is the next topic which I am going to discuss. So put r equal to 3, you will get mu3 is equal to summation x minus x bar whole cubed divided by n. The fifth point is the fourth moment about the mean is a measure of kurtosis. So when r is equal to 4 you get mu4 equal to summation x minus x bar whole to the power 4 divided by n. So we see that the first moment about the mean is 0. And then the first moment about 0 is the mean and then the second moment about the mean is the variance that is mu2 is equal to sigma square and mu3 is a measure of skewness 
and mu4 is a measure of kurtosis. Few more points to remember that Professor Carl Pearson defined the following two coefficients based on the first four central moments. The first one is beta 1 and the formula is mu3 square divided by mu2 cube and this is a measure of skewness. And then we have beta 2 equal to mu4 divided by mu2 square which is a measure of kurtosis. You will also make use of beta 1 and beta 2 in the second PUC chapter theoretical distributions especially under the normal distribution. Practice the notations carefully under this topic that is moments of a distribution. Thank you all for watching and look out for my next video where I will discuss a very important topic that is skewness.